Andrew's right. I was in Bye Bye Birdie, Hayeswood Central, uh, class of 1983. I think we did Bye Bye Birdie my junior year. One of my favorite songs was, uh, have you heard about Hugo and Kim? And then kids, what's the matter with kids today? And with us now is someone that I just adore, Melissa Berman. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. So right before we sat down, Melissa, you told me that you played Mrs. McAfee in Bye Bye Birdie. Yes. Phenomenal. So you are a theater kid. I am. And a band kid. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, I should say adult because now you're a grown woman. But, <laughs> so you are at Hofstra University. Tell us about your experience there. So I am a third generation pride at Hofstra University. My mom and uncle and my grandmother, when she went back to school, went there, as well as my ex-aunt. <laughs> oh, I guess because you lost her through divorce? Yes. Okay. <laughs> You're, I'm like, how did you become an ex-aunt? Um, so what was your production like uh, with Bye Bye Birdie? What was the set, the set design? So when I was younger, I was in a group called Spotlight Theater Children's Group in Long Beach, New York. And I must have been in fourth grade when I played Mrs. McAfee. So I was still very young, but, you know, one of the older kids in the group because it went till eighth grade. And it was just, you know, a funny production because the guy who played my husband, Mr. McAfee, when he did like the hysterical voice imitating Kim, it was hysterical and I couldn't keep my face straight when I was on stage, but I held myself together and I didn't laugh because I was wearing a mic and I didn't want to hear myself laugh. <laughs> our, our set uh, was created using ladders that we had to paint. Um, so to, to this day, my dad uh, in Florissant, Missouri still has a yellow ladder. <laughs> I'm like I go home from school and I'm like, dad, I'm like, can we paint the ladder? He's like, uh, you use a ladder to paint, Donna. <laughs> and, 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 but sure enough, he's like, okay. He goes, what color is it going to be? I'm like, yellow. So, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, chipping and stuff like yes. that. But it's still like we have a yellow ladder at my house because of Bye Bye Bye. Oh, that's amazing. Um, you have been a phenomenal intern oh, with thank us. Thank you. And I don't even say interns. I always say uh, production assistant. And you have been with us all semester long. I thank you so much for doing that. And I just wanted to take a moment to kind of highlight you to talk about something very special that you have coming up. And what is that birthright? Yes. Okay. Tell us what that is. So birthright is a free 10 day trip to Israel for Jewish people that are Jewish, either you're half Jewish, full Jewish, doesn't matter as long as you have some Jewish relative. And it is for people, they now raise the, raise the age. So you can be 18 to 32 and you're eligible to go on the trip. And what will you be experiencing? What will you be seeing? So I actually just received my itinerary the other day. Uh, we will be going to Yad Vashem, which is the Holocaust Museum in Israel, which is very special to me because my grandfather was a Holocaust survivor. Uh, may he rest in peace. He's no longer with us. But I am just looking forward to that, to go and see his legacy being there in Israel, where I do have family in Israel also. So I'll get to be meeting up with them. And I'm excited to go to the Dead Sea, which I heard is the best part about the whole trip, getting to float in the Dead Sea. And I'm just excited to go to the Shuk, as they call it in Israel. It's the marketplace, but it's called the Shuk, where you can just buy, you know, all types of jewelry and candy and just all types of fun stuff. And I'm just super excited to go to Israel for the first time. Congratulations. Thank you. And at Hofstra, uh, you, you're an officer in, in a club, an uh, international club or across the United States in colleges. What is that? So it's called Hillel. Hillel is the Jewish group group on campuses in college, and I am going to be vice president this upcoming year, my senior year at Hofstra University, and this past year I was co-communications vice president, and I'm just so excited to be working with the same group of ladies and just having the amazing opportunity to bring pride and Judaism to Hofstra's campus and to make my grandfather proud as well as my family and all my friends because I know they're all rooting for me. What do you think is the most important pe thing that people can learn about diversity um, and intersection between cultures? I think the most important thing that people can learn about diversity and intersection of cultures is that no matter who you believe in, who you pray to, what color your skin is and what you believe, we, we all are here for the same reason. God made us in his image, no matter if you're Jewish, Catholic, Muslim black, white, brown, and it shouldn't matter what race you are, what religion you are, or who you believe in. We're people, and we all believe on peace on earth, and if you don't get along with someone just because they don't believe in the same thing you do, then that's just wrong, because we're all human beings, and we should all be able to get along with each other. I adore you. Couldn't have said it better myself. 
<laughs> Melissa Berman, wishing you all the best in your career. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for starting your career here. Thank you for uh, having me here. This has been the most amazing opportunity. You're welcome. Wow. There you go. The youth of today are our future leaders of tomorrow. She's already a leader, Melissa Berman. Stay tuned for our next guest.